Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. What that usually means is a salaried position that has a income level of at least $35,000, $36,000 annum. Per annum means that you're paid per year, which means that each month you get one or two paychecks that take care of your living expenses. Those living expenses, of course, includes the shelter over your head, the sustenance that feeds your body, and literally the service that you're providing. It also allows you and entitles you to use your discretionary income any way that you so choose, in the terms of those things. It typically also covers some sort of vehicle, some sort of transportation, some sort of bus pass, some sort of bicycle, some sort of something that gets you to and from where you're going. As we head into the spring and summer months, we do have those people who love to ride their cycles and ride their bicycles to work. The problem is they don't always think about what the nose level is going to be for other people who have to smell you and the sweat off your brow. But I won't go into the details of health and hygiene because I'm someone who definitely would love to handle those things for my own self, but the truth is I do handle them for myself, just as you handle them for yourself. What we have are immoral people who tend to stalk, mob, and harass someone who's homeless. And when they do that, they are typically proving that they are from a foreign country that do not understand what is and isn't their rights. I have abusers in my family of origin. I have a passive-aggressive past mother. I have a physically abusive father that I don't see anymore, but he kind of changed his life in the late stages of his life when he faced disease and God humbled his life. I believe he was humbled in his life and his ADLs were taken away because of how aggressive and progressive he was in the early days of us during childhood. As he seasoned, as he matured, he learned not to do that. He was also a child that was dumped on his head by an alcoholic father, which sort of probably produced some of the challenges he had in handling his emotions. And I can talk about this in kind of common sense terms. It makes sense to me. If it makes sense to you, then it's called common sense in a way. Outside of that, I had siblings that decided to attack my life after I lost my late spouse. That attack proves what kind of people they are. They never once invited me over to dinner. It's pretty much true. I had one sibling that did that. I had another sibling that I ate with somewhat regularly, quasi regularly on Fridays, and we'd get together and have a good time. But at some point, people just time out of doing things that are right with their siblings and with their families. But here's the other thing I know, that when you go off and create your own family, when you go off and have your own spouse, when you go off and have responsibilities for your own your children, you have left your mother's and father's house, just as it says in all the good books around the world. That once you become betrothed, once you become married, once you become in step with someone else's life, you leave that father's house. And the people of that father's house are no longer significant in your life. That has been true throughout my entire adult life. That while siblings might get together at holidays and Thanksgiving and Christmas and those type of things, or a parent's birthday, they are not in your life day to day. You might have an occasional call to check in with each other if you have decent relationships at all, but truthfully speaking, they are busy in their own life, their own responsibilities, their own professional acumen, and their own needs to produce a life. If they have failed to marry, marry the right person, they could end up struggling in life. If they have failed to produce a life that produces a real living, they can be struggling in life. During the time of COVID, we have a lot of people not laying people off, they're just not bringing people back. And that's something that people have to be clear about. If you're working in the food industry right now, there's some luck to you because they, most people get tired of eating grocery store food. Most people are accustomed to going out to something, whether it's fast food or sit down restaurant, and they like doing that because it's an enjoyable way to put together relationships with the people that they know today. The people they knew of yesterday might not be the same people. Most people mature, season, and age. And when they do that, they either time in or time out of relationships. But there are some relationships in life that God wants us to keep all our lives. And when those people don't participate in the truth of the world, that Jesus Christ makes a plan for your life and expects you to be the best you can be in life, which is always loving on people, always serving people, always raising people up, always highlighting them, always lighting their fire for God, then you've failed your life. You see, the whole American continent was discovered based on that desire to be able to practice our own faith and our own religions without someone in a king set or a queen set interfering with our rights to have a faith. So if you're trying to lord over someone's life, if you're trying to interfere with their life, if you're trying to monitor the, their life, and yet you are not the intimate partner of that adult person, you are foolish in life. You are wasting your life and you are enslaving yourself to a relationship that's not yours at all. So let's be clear, if you're married, your number one responsibility is to make sure you marry well and focus on that relationship. If you have children, your number one responsibility is to raise up mature, 
independent thinkers who know how to serve the world because you don't get anywhere in life with an attitude of I don't have to do this. Yes, you do. Every aspect of your job description are your responsibility, whether you want to or not. And the people who acquire their responsibilities, understand their responsibilities, and serve their responsibilities well are usually moved up the corporate ladder for more and more responsibility, but more and more power and more and more, let's face it, the power of the dollar, the dollar that pays your salary. So let's be clear. If you're failing your job on purpose, that's on you. If you're achieving in your job, then that's on you. If you're not happy in your job, your job is to find another way to make a living, not going off and being some trophy wife or trophy husband somewhere. Every person in the world has to learn how to make a living, and every person in the world has to learn how to serve others. We serve others through the products, programs, and the people that we sell. Politicians know this very well. But in life, you have moments of time to make a difference on people's lives, and the most significant areas that you can help people are usually the simplest of ways. The simplest of ways that everyone needs water or some sort of beverage that has water based to it. Everyone needs food and some sort of safe food in a time of COVID and a time of pandemic. And everyone needs a place that is safe for them to sleep, that people are not trying to pilfer from their property, ruin their lives, and interfere with their right to make a living. 